Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Subnautica, and I know some of you were expecting Surviving Mars today, but I decided I wanted to play some more of this because I absolutely love this game, and I would really like to progress this a bit further, so I thought, well, I'll do an extra episode of this this week, and yeah, we, we could do several more extra episodes this week because um, yeah, th things are starting to get very, very interesting with this game. Extremely interesting with this game. Now before we go, I've just noticed that the power situation is quite tight. Power is definitely quite tight on this one at the moment and if you look in here we've got um, some salt and some water being made. I'm assuming that when the water filtration machines have actually got the water done uh, then it's, it's not going to be so much of a problem. It's, the power is going to sort of um, reduce down again a little bit but at the moment they are absolutely sucking the juice up I've got some in here. Well, that one's all full right there. But, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's struggling to keep up. Um, if we look in here a minute, I want to go there and I want to swap over for a habitat builder a second. And then I'll go like that. And we look at the exterior modules there. Solar panel. I want two quartz, two titanium, and a copper ore. And that will get us a little bit of power. It's not a huge amount, but at least some. And that might help just, just sort of um, tweak it over a little bit. Another bioreactor is quite a little bit more complicated. I mean, we can do it. Interior modules, uh, miscellaneous. Is there, where's the exterior? Oh, there, right. Thermal plant converts heat to energy at medium efficiency. Maybe we should build one of those. I'm thinking at the moment, though, it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, let's, let's ignore that. We don't want that. We don't need to worry about it. Let's go. We are going off in our Cyclops. We're going to take the Frith Marine and Billy No Mates inside it and we're going to go off and we're going to explore some other Welcome things. We will be building. Captain. All systems online. We will be building, at some point fairly soon, a uh, prawn suit. But we're not going to get a prawn suit today. No, it's not today. We are going to just come through there and look at that. Uh, all of that. Don't worry about any of that. We've got loads more storage space down here. I have been told by some reliable sources, i.e. several of you guys who are watching, that I'm going to need a lot more storage space. I'm going to need a lot more than even this. I will want to put um, storage lockers all along the back on this side as well in order to be able to do everything that we want to do right here in the game. Uh, we'll see. At the moment, we're okay. We will, I mean, I'm not doubting you, but um, yeah, we will get to that at some point. Now, depth module there. I still got ingredients unknown on that one, and I don't have the upgrade either. Uh, decoy tube upgrade fire suppression system. Install the fire suppression system on the Cyclops. Maybe we should build that. Two aerogel and two crystalline sulfur. I wonder if we might be glad of that. Before we start sort of exploring too far, I've got crystalline sulfur. How much have I got? I've got three of them. I'll take two of them and I'll make a fire suppression system. Oh, uh, actually, I need other stuff as well. No, no, no. Let's not worry about it. We can, we can deal with this another time. I've got right there, I've got a fire extinguisher if I need it. I don't think I need to worry about it, so let's turn the internal lighting off. And no, I'm going to leave the external lighting off as well. Pilot sub. Uh, engine online. Powering up. Fantastic. And there's our base down there. So, CTOU's life pod is there. And then the other one is over there, life pod 12. I'm thinking I want to go to life pod 12 first. No, I can't take this one into the shallows. So I gotta be, I gotta go round the shallows in order to be able to reach that one. But I mean, it is 1,600 meters away, so it's like it's one and a half kilometers away. I think we'll be all right for for getting there. I do think we'll be fine. I don't think we're gonna have any issue being able to reach it. We just gotta go round the edge of the shallows in order to be able to do it. Because this bad boy here does not have the ability to go through the shallows. Uh, I've got to be. Yeah, I gotta watch where I'm going now. I gotta watch very carefully where I'm going. You know what? Let me just stop there a second. And I'll go over here. And I'll put the external lighting on. Because it might be helpful. It might be helpful if we've got external lights on. Just, just to help us a little bit. There's the shallows. Just off to our right hand side. So we'll come over this way. Now we can, we can go faster, but it makes a lot of noise. 
gave us a warning to say, you're making a huge amount of noise, are you sure you want to be doing this? Uh, that's, oh, that's the alien island in front of us, and we can just make that out. I'm going to sink down a little bit. There. All right, I'm happy with that. And I reckon we can sort of bring this one right there. We've got some land underneath us, but I still don't think we're down too far that we've got to worry about it. Here it is. There's the edge of the land that we might have to concern ourselves with, but we've got no... Nothing dangerous at the moment by the look of it. Still just going around the edges of the shallows. It's the mushroom vent and the... So there's another life pod over there, isn't there? I think that is a life pod over there. We're 1,300 meters away, so we're still over a K away from that one. Let's bring it in this way. Um... For such a small fish, that is an enormous amount of noise and sort of so on, just, just hitting the hull. That does seem to be a little excessive for such a tiny little fish. We, would get, we got pretty close to the, the reef underneath us just then. There is one of the big nasty fish. Is he going to be a problem? I'm going to, actually I want to go uh, there, I want to see him. Let's see, is he going to be a problem? No, he isn't. They're ignoring us. I'm ke I'm keeping forward at the moment. And they they are ignoring us. They're not having anything to do with us. I've got the light on this one. So, we want to go is that one over there that we want to go to. So, if I swing it round, I sort of just want to look underneath me as I go along. We're going across kelp beds here at the moment. You can see all of the different kelp sort of uh, glowing in the dark down there. Um, so far, everything seems all tickety-boo. There's the alien island. It's only, oh, actually, it's only 500 meters away from us. Let me just go and check. Uh, it's not that one. This one. All right, there's that. And there's the alien island over there. But no, this is the one that we want to go to. We're actually heading more into territory with a um, big nasty thing. What's it called? Uh, Leviathan. A reaper. Reaper is the word I'm looking for. We're heading more towards a reaper over this way. And that is a little... That is quite concerning. I mean, we've got toughened skin. We've got a cyclops now. And a cyclops does seem to be fairly strong. I'm hoping that a cyclops could get away from a reaper. Maybe I'd have to um, like run really fast or something. I also might want to turn the lights off. Now, where are we? Uh, I can't see anything. I see nothing at all. Look down here. It's to the to the rear. What's I I seen something in the darkness over there. I think. Um, and I see there's light over here. Let's keep going. Going to the front one. Six hundred meters. It's two hundred and fifty meters down. So it's not very far down. I'm very very nervous now. I'm getting very, very nervous about this. This is something that is making me feel cautious and worried. I can hear the big... Th oh, what's that? There was something glowing down there in the dark, way below us, in the absolute pitch black. There's those glow... Oh, yeah, we've seen those glowy things before, didn't we? I was a little bit concerned about them. I wondered what they might be. But ultimately, I felt that they were... Well, we didn't get very close to them, so they seemed to be all right. The noise is those reef backs. We got one reef back there and another reef back over there. It's absolutely pitch black here, and I'm looking in this one. You know what? I'm going to just come off of here a second. I'm going to stop, and I'm going to turn all these lights off. I don't think the lights are a good thing. Go on here. And let me go back onto the camera underneath. So we're, we're, I've got the light on on the camera, but I feel that's probably all right. And we're still heading towards that one. It's reef backs that I can hear. It's definitely reef backs. We're on. We're just cruising along on the surface at the moment. That's all we're doing. We're cruising along on the surface. 
Why is there a light over there? What's that light? Oh, that's something to do with the alien island, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, it says there, alien island. It's the, the clues in the name. And that's still burning. It's been burning for a long time now. Okay. And our destination is actually just underneath us. So we've about reached the point where we should stop. So we will stop. Engine powering down. And this is this is it, ladies and gentlemen. How long until daytime? We go on to there and look up into the night sky. Where is the sun and the moon? And are we getting I'm gonna wait until daytime. I want all I want all the light that we can get. I think we are almost towards the end of night cycle now anyway, so I think we'll be alright. We'll just wait here for a minute. I'll make sure i got everything ready for our next epic journey. Right, I have eaten a bit of food from over there, and I have um, got my water all the way up to the very top. And if you have a look, you can see the sun has just started to come up over the horizon over there. And there is the moon that never seems to set. And if we have a look under here, there is nothing that we can see under here. There's nothing that we can see with this one either. So, we are going to come out of here, come off of the pilot, and hopefully that one will be safe right there. We are going to come through here. Actually, how much water have I got on me? I've got one, two, three, four, five, I think. Let me just run downstairs, and I'm going to leave a little bit of water behind. I probably should leave the water upstairs. It'd be a lot easier, but anyway... Um, if I drop in those, I'll keep two water on me and one nutrient block, and then the three water can stay there. It's just sort of a safety precaution, I think, in case something d bad does happen. We've still got plenty of water that we can come back and we can use. Let's open that one. Let's get into the Seamoth. And we are away. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Right. Just wait for the noise to settle so that I'm not being terrified before we even start because of the noise that this darn thing is making uh right i got lights there now i'm gonna keep the lights off for a minute just because i feel it might be an advantage to us we're 100 meters down do i want lights on or not i'm gonna risk it i'm gonna put the lights on because look at that turn them off yeah, we, we, we'll have the lights on. We'll risk it. I know it is a risk. We've got a thermal vent over there. We've got... Uh, looks like there might be something over there. Thermal vent behind me. I've got an electrical fish over there. I'm going to go over to those electrical fish and see what they are. I'm not going to take this one with it. Um, I'm going to leave this one over here somewhere. What's going on? Ah! Ah! Oh, that scared me. <laughs> I'm back to being terrified again. That's great. Look, I see there's two of them down here. But they can't hurt me, I don't... Oh, yes, they can. They can still hurt me. Um, right, at least I can travel around here. But, yeah, that they can still hurt me. Have I got any way that I can... I want a repulsion cannon, don't I? Yeah, they're hurting. They're going to hurt me. What else can I do? Can I, can I come over this one? If, if I go over the top of this one, is that going to do anything? No, they're just going to keep attacking me. I've got that one down there that I want to get into. I'm wondering if I should take this little beastie up here a little ways away from them so they stop hurting me. Right, where are they? Let me look in here a minute, and I want to take the repair tool. Put that on there. Okay. They're not up here. They're not up this high. So first thing that we're going to do very quickly is we're going to uh, repair that one. We'll repair that one like this. There. I want to get that one fully repaired so that I've got a an escape route if I need it. There we go. Right, escape route taken care of. And then we come back to this one. I've got the repulsion cannon. Uh, propulsion cannon. I don't think that's going to do anything to those things, though. I think that's not going to help us in the slightest. There they are. Let's go in here and hope that they can't reach me. I want to turn everything off. Right. Abandoned PDA. That's what I want. Okay. New 
PDA data. I see him over there. And I'm going to swim out. I'm going to swim around a little bit. What have I got there? That's sandstone. I don't want to worry about that. I just need to keep an eye out for them. I have no light on at the moment. This might be the best way to do this. Shale, there's some lithium. Lithium would actually be good. I'm, I'm not... Uh-oh. What was that? Uh, something was... Yeah, that was like a teleport type... Th oh, no, there's another one there. I haven't been able to scan those yet. I'd like to. He's, he's chasing me. I wonder if I can scan him. I don't think I can. I think trying to... Trying to scan him would be a bad idea. So let me ignore him for a minute and go a little bit further afield. I've got... Uh, I don't think there's anything over there. i got to remember... Right. Oxygen. Get that. Right. That is... Oh, that's a different one. My escape is over there. And those guys are over that way. There's the electrical things that way. And we are replenishing our oxygen at the moment. Just keep looking. I'm just going to keep looking round. Well, these things are going to come after me. I'm curious if I could actually get close enough to scan one of those things. I know they do hurt. If they get close enough, they are going to really hurt us. And also, the electrical things over here. Am I going to regret going near them? I've got an abandoned PDA. I want to read that. If I die... Right. This is your primary directive to swim closer to that my primary directive to swim closer to what? Your primary directive or primary objective to swim closer to something. There's ooh, Well, there's a big wreckage up there. I want to explore that. Now, what is that thing? I don't know that I want to get close to that. Those over there, I think that that's like the teleport thing is happening when I'm near those. You go over here. There, that. I'm going to back up a little bit. That one's over there. There's Billy No Mates. But no, that electrical thing. I don't want to go in. I don't want to go in there. That's that's too scary. But can, this electrical thing. I'm pretty sure the electrical thing is going to be dangerous. It looked dangerous. It looked quite frightening, to be honest. Um, oh. Giant bulb bush. Let's just scan that one a minute. It takes so long to scan anything, though. This is this is the problem, is it takes such a long time to scan that I don't think I can get close enough to that thing that's, like, sparking to do anything. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, like, um, err on the side of caution here. I'm going to go over this way. I'm going to go back towards the, the bits down here. And see, just we're just going to have a little look around. Uh-oh. To swim closer to what? It said your primary directive to swim closer. And I didn't hear what it wanted me to swim closer to. There was something it was telling me that I had to swim closer to. There's a ruby there. I will definitely pick up that ruby. And... It is your primary Still can't hear it. Primary directive to swim closer, and then it stops. It kind of drifts out, and I don't hear the last bit. And I think the last bit is kind of important. Maybe I need to go over closer to them. There he is. Uh, he hurts, but... Can I do it? I might be able to scan him. If I can stay away from him enough. Bone shark. Uh, 80, 90, 100%. I've scanned him. Bone shark. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm I'm poorly. I'm ill. I'm not looking good. Let's get in here. And where do I want to go? I'm going to go surface. I'm, I'm going up. Now, if we come straight back down again, there is wreckage there that we want to explore and we're going to take a look at. We're going to do that. Um, I don't have any med kits on me. I don't think I've got a med kit fabricator on board the Frith Marine either. I'm hoping I do. If I can find, if well, if I can, if I can, if I don't have one there, I will have to see if I can make one. We need a med kit fabricator. 
captain. All systems online. All right, let's go and turn the lights on. We, we don't need to be hooting, crawling around in the dark, but... Nope. That one. That's better. Right then. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. And let's just take a little look around. Is there a medkit fabricator in here? I don't think there is. Um, did I make an upgrade? No, I didn't. I looked at it and I thought about it and then I thought against it. Uh, let's go down the ladder a minute. Is there any um, medkit fabricators in here? No, there is none on that side. No. Let's go up this ladder then. And there is none here. There is a Cyclops upgrade fabricator, but there is no medkit fabricator anywhere in here. So I want to try and make one if I can. So we'll just take a look here first. And I'll go Habitat Builder. I'm pretty sure it's the Habitat Builder device. I'm going to go there and Interior Modules, Medkit Fabricator, Computer Chip, Fiber Mesh, Silver Ore, Titanium. I do not have such things. Um, fabricates a medkit every 30 minutes. Silver Ore, Titanium. Yeah, I don't have any of that. Oh, you can actually just make it. Even though I don't have the stuff to make it. Because... Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I don't have it. Oh, I suppose I can, like... Um, I can, like, reserve a piece. Now, I've got... I don't have silver. Oh, yes, I do. i got one silver ore. Hang on a minute. What do I need for this? Let's just take a look. I need the computer chip. One silver ore, one titanium, and a fiber mesh. Right, I can't make the fiber mesh at the moment because um, I don't have any of that with me. And the computer chip as well. That requires a few other bits and pieces that I don't have here. So can I make a uh, fabricator? Titanium, gold, table, coral. I don't have table coral here either. So we really do... I'm going to have to make a few extra items in order to make this properly a home from home. So ecological bio matches seven of the nine. No. See, that, the thing that was saying to us, I don't know what they actually said to us. Uh, but it was to do with those bone shark. Maybe we'll find out a bit more. Data download. Let's go Aurora survivors. Medical officer Danby's crew log. I'm uh, not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? I think I'm actually going to die down here. I think you are. And in fact, I think you already have. I think you've already been somebody's lunch. Uh, it's very unfortunate for you, and I apologise for um, sort of sounding quite so flippant about that, but you shouldn't have lied, quite frankly. You brought it on yourself. Uh, right, a giant bulb bush, a vast plant, is centuries old. While it dominates the surrounding area, a complex root system below the surface connects it with other bulb bushes in the area. Nutrient flow within this network suggests a giant bulb was adapted to feed the weaker bushes and keep the forest healthy. Very nice. Okay, I'm not sure how that helps us though. Right, carnivore, bone shark. A large and powerful predator that lives in small groups and fiercely defends its hunting grounds. Thickly armoured exoskeletons suggest defensive adaptation either to larger predators or in-species aggression. Marked similarity to the segmented exoskeleton of the sand shark suggesting a relatively recent common ancestor. Large eyeballs consistent with high light sensitivity likely for hunting of luminescent prey in low light environments. Generally slow and unresponsive as a means of energy conservation, they will act with uncompromising speed and aggression against any threat to their territory. Avoid may be distracted by light sources. Okay, so we can sort of flash lights at it and that might help, but we, we, we kept having that voice come at us. Every time, every time we went near, there was a voice and it was, it was getting a little bit concerning. Uh, do not have anything else on there? Right. So we got nothing else to nothing else that we can read at the moment, and I don't have a means of creating. Um, yeah, I need to be able to make a fabricator on board this one. That's what I really want is a fabricator because my health is low and I've got no med kits. I didn't bring any with me. I think I did. None in there, and I got none in there, and I got no way of manufacturing them either because I need table coral. 
Uh, did I leave any downstairs? I don't think I did that either. I think I was really stupid and I didn't actually plan for the trip properly. I was really stupid. But I do have lubricant. It's lonely in space. Uh, creature egg and grey cap. Um, no. None of this is any good to me. Right. Plan. We are going to... We, well, we're going to go back out now. We're just going to have to hope that we don't have anything that eats us and kills us. Because that, that would be a little bit unpleasant. I don't really want to be eaten and killed. Let me grab a couple of lantern fruits. I've got extra bulbo trees growing here. I figure that would be a better way of getting the nutrients um, that I need. So let me just eat these up. They don't actually heal me, though. The only way I can heal is if I get a med kit. I'm going to need a med kit. So I need to be able to make... So I want table coral so I can put a fabricator in here, which would be useful. And then I want to be able to put some other things in here as well, um, including the, um, the med kit fabricator on the roof. On the roof on the wall. Right. Light. Let's have some light in here. I know that the light is not necessarily the best idea. Now, there's an electrical thing that is swimming around. I'm going to choose to ignore that. Oh. Actually, I could get table coral off the back of one of them, and then I could make a fabricator. But I still... I need kelp as well. Table coral. Is there table coral on the back of here? There's one of those spiky things over there. Those are not good. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's actually got what I want on board. So, I'm going to just ignore that one. There is those sparkly things. Swimming around. I'm not really sure what to do about them. They, are they fighting with those things? I think they are. I think they're fighting with the bone sharks. Now, what I wanted to do, though, was I wanted to have a look at this wreckage. There's a huge chunk of wreckage over here. And I figured that we would be able to get something from this. Now, there's an um, event down there. I don't actually want to leave this one too close to the wreckage. I want to leave it up. Lights off. About here, I think, so that it's hopefully a little bit away from everything that's underneath. At least that's what I'm hoping. Alright, let's come out and take this one. I've got the huge great big reef backs around. I hope that they don't get too close to that one and we're alright. I know that I got lights off at the moment. I will put my light on in just a minute. I want to get in a bit closer to here. There. Right. Light on and... Ooh! We've actually got a supply crate here. It's disinfected water. That would be handy. Uh, I'll drink that a minute. There we go. Right, now let's go inside. I can't get in there. That's a little bit too small. So I'll come in round there. That is a little bit concerning, that bit. Oh, there's another supply crate over there. Don't get close to the electric. The electric on the, on the water there. There's another uh, disinfected water. That is great. Can I get in this way? That's that. That's the, the flickering there. It's a little bit concerning, but I don't need to worry about it too much. It's, it's not going to harm me. That might. What is, what's growling at me? Um, teeth and large snarls in the darkness. Those can hurt me. We know they can hurt me because they have hurt me in the past. So those we want to be careful of. What's this? That's nothing. There's actually a cave under here. I'll ignore that. I'm, I'm going to leave the caves. I'm not going to go near them. Could be something unpleasant in them. It's dark down here. I've come down here at night time rather than during the day. So I may regret doing that as well. Oh, now that, that is something. Scanner room fragment. I've already got that. But there's titanium as well. And it's the titanium that I'd actually like. So I will scan it anyway. Let's go up this side. What do we got over there? There must be a way in. Is this the only way in? Is that back where I was looking at it previously? I think it is. I think that is going to be the only way in. I'm going to go back to my home in just a minute. There's another fragment there. Uh, yep, yeah, scanner room. Okay. We'll take that. So, scanner room is the only fragment that we've gotten so far. Nothing there. What about if I look underneath? Nope. Right, it looks like the only way we're getting into this bad boy is in where I was just now. Just look over there, what's that? Is that something? No, there's nothing there. We 
We've got the noise coming from that one down there. Little bits of lava and stuff being shot off it. It's fine. We'll ignore that. So my only way in is going to be in through over here, there. I reckon, actually, I can do this with that one. There. Oh. There's that bit. Is I, have I got anything else? Oh, I can't move the girder, but I might be alright without moving the girder. Let's go to there, and now where is my Billy No Mate? So let's go back to Billy No Mates a minute and re-oxygenate. And after we've re-oxygenated, we can go back into that little um, it, it, little piece and we can explore. We should be able to get in there without too much trouble, which means that we should then be able to get out and have a little run around. Okay, I want you. Power 25% on this. Just be careful that we don't accidentally use up too much power. So I want to... How can I get in here? Right here through there. Beautiful. Okay. We have successfully made it inside. We've got a little bit of light here from some of these things. That I can't go through. Oh, there's nothing there. But I do have a crate there and there's some more water. Let's go in this way. In through here. Now, what else have we got? There's, a, there's another crate over there. I don't have anything to scan. I am going to change my light over for that there. So that I've got some more room. There we go. Look at that. Ah, that's better. Now I can actually see what I'm doing. Right. We've got something to scan there. Basic plant pot. Oh, that's not very exciting. There we go. We've got a basic plant pot. Uh, right. Now, what else have we got in here? We haven't come through there. No, we came through that way. We mustn't get disoriented in here. It's disorientated in here. Disorientation is really, really bad. We will run out of oxygen if we get disorientated. So we were in this room. So we're going to come down into the room where the door opens into. And we're going to take a look around. Oh, we can actually go out the bottom there. Right, what's that? That's nothing. There's nothing that we can scan or anything else. There's nothing else in here. Oh, there is another room. That is a sealed door. If I lower down here, is there anything else in here? No, it doesn't look like there's anything down here. Yeah, there's no way through down there. No, we get stuck if we go that way. I got 117 left on um, oxygen. Take the laser cutter. Let's cut that door open. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this door open. And before I go in there, I'm going to go back over to our little um, ship. To the Seamoth, to Billy No Mates. And after I've been to Billy No Mates, we'll come back here, fully reoxygenated, ready to go into the next bit. Actually, I'm not going to cut all the way through. I'm going to leave that. Just that last little bit, I'm going to leave it just to, just in case there's something there that we want to look at quickly. Right, let's cut open the rest of the door. 100%. And light. Let's see what we got. So we've got electric over there that we, we, we do need to be very careful with electric. In the supply crate, we have a spare battery, which is always handy. We've got a door here, which I can't actually open. I've got a stasis rifle fragment there. I don't know if I've got the full recipe for the stasis rifle. Yes, I do. Otherwise, it would have just come up. Um, and down here, we've got a data box. Excellent. What have we got? Cyclops sonar upgrade. I want the depth module. Uh, i got an abandoned PDA. The charter. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, uh, what's that? That's another stasis rifle. That'll be some more titanium for us, so we'll scan that anyway. Take that one. We've got 153 oxygen. Let's have another look around. If there's any, oh, there's. Uh, that's going to be a light stick fragment. Yep. See, light stick fragment. We've already got that as well. So there's more titanium. And. Is there anything else in here? Oh, there's another door up there. What's that take us to? That's just locked. Okay, so no, we can't go through that one. And there's nothing else. Right, we can't go through any more doors. That's it for us. We've got to go down that way and then back up through here. I do not think there is anything else that we can find. That's the door there that we were underneath, I think, just now. So that's, that's the other bit that we were looking for. Uh, oh, hang on. No. This is... We haven't been through here. We've definitely not been this way. We've got uh, 105 in uh, oxygen. 
Ah, there's the, oh no, there's, that's not multiple directions. We just want to go down here. 105 is cutting it fine. Especially for such a... Okay, we're going back. We're going to go back. We're going to get oxygen and then we'll come back through here because this could take a while. Right, so we want to go along there, down this one, and then all the way along here, out to this side, down here. I really hope this is worth the trip. I really hope this is worth the trip. So what do we got? What do we got? We've got a... Well, there's a grow bed over there. There is a supply crate there with some disinfected water in it. Uh... There better be something really cool in here. Please. There's, there's got to be. It's, it's got to be. Oh, here we go. There we go. There we go. There's, a, there's another um, thingy there. A data box. That's what we want. Please be something good. What? <laughs> no. That data box that we came all this way for is one that we've already received in the past. Somewhere, somewhere along the way... We've already gotten that one and we no longer need it. And that was it. That was all we had. There was nothing else in here. Look, I can look through there. I can sort of squeeze in a bit, but there's nothing else really that we want to get. Uh, is that, oh, what's up here? Is there something in there? Nope. Nope. There's nothing. Oh, what a disappointment. We. It was so promising. Along all those tunnels, and then we've seen the data box, and I thought we were going to get the really cool thing, and then we didn't get the really cool thing, and now we're disappointed because we don't have the cool thing. Um, right, okay, let's go back. Go around here, and all the way down here, and then that way, and now I'm lost. Oh, no, it's this. No, it's not that way. It is um, it is up to there, because it's this way, and then up there, and then down that way, and then in here. And turn around, and there we go. We made it. We made it. And I didn't actually get hopelessly lost either, which I gotta be honest, I'm very proud of myself for that. I feel that that is an accomplishment that I can write home to mother about. That is definitely something to be proud of. What else have we got here? We got any interesting bits lying around? Now that we've got a bit of light, uh, am I gonna regret going in a cave like this? There's probably a giant crash fish, the likes of which I've never seen before in my life, that I'm gonna seriously regret running into. Um, I'm gonna come out of the cave, because I've only got 50 seconds of oxygen left. It might be a little bit prudent to just stay away from such things. Now, where's Billy No Mates? Billy! Oh, there you are. Go over and we'll see Billy, and then we will dock back, and we can go and we can sort of just take a look at some of the things that we've got. I, I don't know what we did get. We did get a, a couple of blueprints, I think. Um, let's go. Where are you? There it is, all the way up there. I think we've explored everything around this one. So next up, we've got CTOU's life pod. Before we go there, though, I actually want to go home and I want to get some materials for the Cyclops. But I'm actually thinking, I'm seriously considering... Oop, I don't want to ram into the Cyclops, that's, that's not very clever. I'm actually seriously considering leaving the Cyclops here and going... Systems online. I love his voice. Yeah, and uh, going back uh, with just the sea moth. We'll run back with the sea moth and we'll grab some materials so that we can build a fabricator in here. That might be a better way of doing this. Load of titanium. We got an extra battery. We could put a battery charger in here. We could put a, a med kit fabricator and a few other bits. We've got a proper home from home in here. I think that'd be quite good. Um, now, what blueprints did we get? I got two blueprints altogether. Two of them. Basic plant pot and... Where are you? Sonar upgrade. Scans the terrain outside the Cyclops and displays it on a 3D map in the cockpit. There's a computer chip and some magnetite. Now a computer chip does actually take a little bit of... Uh, public documents. The Charter. There we go. Right. Transgov. Uh, basically it's a government... Um, each transgov has a right to self-government, subject to restrictions laid out below. No transgov may develop weapons and technologies outlawed as Appendix 91. No transgov shall engage in population abuse. Um, each has the right to own phase gates and planetary infrastructure. Each has an obligation to share phase gate access with other transgovs on fair terms at no cost to themselves. Each has an obligation to financially maintain and comply with the TSF. Trans system phase gate. Okay. So basically, it's just a, a charter where all of the different um, governments agree to get along, um, basically. Now, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I'm going to leave this one right here. So I'm going to I'm going to turn off the lights. There we go. Turn the lights off. And 
I'm going to change anything there. I'm hoping that if I leave this one right here, it's not going to be gone when I get back. It's my biggest concern, as it will have vanished by the time I return. I got a load of titanium here. One lithium and one ruby. I'm going to leave those here, actually. I'm going to drop down there a second into this one. Let me have some light. There we go. Right, open... Uh, no. Open storage. And I will drop in that one and that one. And... I got some big things of water there, a couple of titanium, and then I'll also drop into this one, I'll drop in a load more titanium, there we go. Right, so I got loads of storage here, I got loads of stuff in storage, I think we'll be fine. We're going to go and get into the sea moth and we're going to run back home and we're going to get some basic materials so that we've got enough to build a fabricator and a med kit fabricator here in Cyclops. I don't think the Cyclops is going to come to grief being left there. At least that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping the Cyclops will be safe left there. I can hear roaring. I can hear lots of roaring, but I'm hoping just going in a straight line, straight back towards the base, and we are going... I know we're going through some dangerous territory, but I'm hoping we haven't gotten close enough to dangerous territory to cause any issues with anything. And then we can avoid most of the rest of the dangerous territory and we can get back to the absolute safety of home. And there is home. All I want is a couple of those plates over there. Uh, actually, the plates are right here in front of me, so if I just grab those a second. There we go. I need to use the blade. Where are you? Blade, blade. There we go. Right. Table coral. Grab it. There we go. One table coral and get that one as well. Grab that table coral. So there's two. I think I only need... I think that's going to be more than enough. Let me grab a couple more. I'll, I'll take two more just in case. Uh, there's a couple over here. Should be easy to get. One and two. And I can grab that one. And I can grab that one as well. And then if I go and get my sea moth... We can go back into our beautiful, wonderful home that we have built over here. Spent a lot of time working on this house. There we go. We're home! I know that I've left our Cyclops a very long way. Welcome aboard, Captain. A very long way from here. However, I feel it would be worth it. We're up to 554, which indicates to me that those are completely full. Because um, they're not draining all the power now. So... We want to go over to this way, and first of all, I want to check what the... Oh, I know what I need. Decomposing creep vines. Creep vines require these uh, basic materials there. I want two of those to make some fiber mesh. And I want two more to make another fiber mesh. There we go. Right, so I've now got the fiber mesh that I wanted. And I want to swap that one there for that one, like that. And we want to go to you... Okay, so the wall, not the wall locker, the radio, um, gold and titanium is easy. I can do I can do gold and titanium. Uh, computer chip, silver or titanium, I got, um, it's just a computer chip that I want to make. So I've got a uh, gold and titanium. You look in here, I've got several gold, so I'll take two of those. And I've got loads of titanium back home. I'll take the other fiber mesh. I'll take the silicon rubber with me as well, so I've got plenty of that. There's more table corals there, which we will use. They may be useful. We may want them. And I'll also take the fire extinguisher. You never know. Um, now, what else was it? I'm looking in here. Uh, oh, I know what it was. It was the computer chip. That was the only other thing that I want, is a computer chip. So I look in there, electronics, and that one requires two table coral. Uh, right, so I need copper. I need plenty of copper. I don't know if I've still got some. I had a load of copper because I was making stuff. Yeah, there we go. Right. Take that with me. There's all the copper. That's everything that I can carry. That's all the copper that I can hold. And I've got the table corals. i got a load of coral. i got fiber mesh. I think we're good to go. Do I need any more silver? Have I got any more silver? In case. Let me just take a quick peek. Oh, there's one more silver ore. If I leave, what do I want to leave behind? Um... I'll leave behind a water. Actually, no, I won't. I'll take that. I'll drink that water. And then I'll take that one with me. Right, we're good. To, now we're good to go. Now we are actually good to go. Uh, I can do that when I'm back on 
And this one here, if you look in here, this is now, yeah, they're both full. That's fine, they can stay there. Uh, you know, I could swap two of them with these. If I do that, I can take two from here. One, two, and that's some just bigger tanks of water. Um, and right, now we're good to go, so we can go back to the Cyclops. Straight back. Back we go. So we've got um, healing, and we've got uh, we, we've got the ability to make everything else that we want to make. We just need to get to the Frith Marine. If we can get back there, I'll try and build a couple of things inside it, and then that's all we're going to have time for today. And we will be back again. Um, what is today? Today is Friday. We'll be back again tomorrow with another episode. Like I said, uh, today's episode is actually an extra one. I'm not um, stopping. I'm not going to like swap it around or anything. It's, it's, I'm giving you an extra one. So we'll be back again tomorrow with more. We're going to go to CTOU's Life Pod. We're going to see if there is anything of interest at CTOU's Life Pod. I don't know if there will be or not. Um, I'm assuming there will be because we. This is kind of like the next bits, and I'm hoping that we'll be able to get some upgrades for the depth on the Cyclops. Now this one will go down to 900 meters. We do have the ability to make the prawn suit, which we might want to be doing after we've gone to the next Life Pod. We could go to the prawn, uh, build the prawn suit. That'll allow us to drop down and we can um, harvest materials on the floor that we can't do at the moment. At least that's what I've been led to believe. That's, that's my understanding of how it works. That's what we'll be able to do. Now, this is going to be interesting getting across this bit. I don't want to have the lights on because that'll attract attention. And we've got underneath us... Some very, very nasty things. Uh, it's the other side of this. This is the mushroom forest we're just coming up to now. So we've got nasty things. I'm going to go up nearer the surface. And I'm just going to keep going. The lights are off. I've been told lights off is the best way to do this. But I don't like the way that the, it's getting darker. We've still got 400 meters to go. It's getting darker and darker. And now I'm starting to get a bit nervous. Listen out for roaring. You can hear other noises. And that's the, um, the reef backs. I heard other roaring when I was here last time. I heard the reaper. There. Can you hear that? That is a reaper. As far as I know. But there's the cyclops. If I can get in the cyclops, I'll feel a lot safer. I don't know how safe it is. I've... I thought that I was quite safe in the in the Cyclops, but other people told me that I wasn't quite safe and that things can actually damage and get into the Cyclops. So, um... Systems online. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you very much to everybody that burst my little safety bubble there and um, made it so that I no longer feel safe even inside my own home here, my own home from home. Um, I really appreciate that. I really do. Yeah, thank you for that. This is just what I wanted. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Right, so let's put some utility things on this side, if we can. You know, I'm really hoping that we can actually do this. If we can't actually put the thing... Oh, we can. I know that we can, because we uh, we tried to do it before, didn't we? So I want titanium. I've got titanium here. Uh, Medkit fabricator, I can't do that either. So I need the fabricator first. I need to go into the wall locker. And everything is full, and everything is full. So I can't, like, swap them over. Oh, yes, I can. Ooh. Okay. I can just do it like that. It's very simple. It's very easy. Fabricator. We're going to put the fabricator there. I'm going to try and put it all in line. So I'll put that one there. Make that one table coral. And all the rest of it that it needs. There we go. So then I can go to the fabricator, and I can go into resources and electronics. And I want to make the computer chip. I need copper wire for that. So I go there and I make the copper wire. And then I go down here and I make the computer chip. Like that. That puts in a load more table coral and stuff like that that we wanted. And then I can come out of there and then I go to this one. Uh, I need a titanium. One titanium and then I've got the next piece of the mighty puzzle. Which is... There's, oh, titanium's in the locker. Not not on me. That, that would be why. And then we go there and we've got the make it fabricator and I'm going to put that one... Ooh, if I, I'm going to put that one just level with the bottom of the line there. I think that's the best place to put that one like that. Uh, then it can start making. Now, if I uh, bring that one out, right, 1%. It's already on 1%. Look at that. Look at the speed that thing is making it. Still on 1%. 2%. Okay, that uh, takes a while to make, apparently. Uh, should I make two medkit fabricators? I may be glad of a second one. 
I might just be glad of that. What was the... I can't remember the materials now. It's, it's not a huge amount of materials to make it. Oh, it's the computer chip. That's the difficult bit. Um, is there anything else that I'm going to want? Oh, battery charger. Wiring kit. A wiring kit for a battery charger. Let's take a look in here. Resources. Electronics. And the wiring kit takes two silver ore, which I don't have. I've got a silver ore there, but I've only got the one. Okay, that's a bit of a nuisance. Yeah, I don't have it. I got uranite crystal there. That's pretty good. That's that's, that's pretty awesome. That is. Uh, let's build another locker over here. A locker takes uh, two titanium. That's simple. Actually, I could do a large freestanding one. There's titanium and two. Uh, have I got quartz? I think I do. Yeah, I got a quartz and I got two titanium. So let's build a large freestanding locker right there. Um, hmm. The amount of space that it takes, I reckon that we can put that one over there, and then I can still put another one on the wall. It's not going to take up low. It's not going to like be like ridiculous amounts of space that's taking up, and I'm able to make use of it. So there, we've got that locker there, and then I can dump in the fiber mesh and the copper ore, silicon rubber. I've got those batteries there. I've got that one's flat. The others are all right. We'll put the table corals in there. I've got some waters on me. I'll leave the fire extinguisher behind. And that is everything. So we are actually building a decent home from home here. Indoor grow bed. Let's take some lantern fruits. We can have a bite to eat as well. A little snack. Uh, I can take two more, I think. One and two. There we go. Right. So have our little snack. Let's go over here. Go to the front. There's our cyclops. We've done well. We've done we've done really well in here today, I think. We've, we've explored things. We've found things. We've um, seen all kinds of monsters and aliens. And we scanned aliens as well. Scanning the aliens, I feel, was a big step forward. We've got the bone shark. Um, yeah. So, anyway, that's all i got time for today. So, if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And in our next episode, in tomorrow's episode, we're going over there to CTO use life pod, and we're going to see what we can find with that one. And then after we've done that, I'm not really sure. We need to find those other places. Now, are there any actual beacons for those? I don't think there are. We know that they exist. Proposed Degassi habitat. We've got the various signals for the life pods. Life pod 12. I don't need that signal anymore. Uh, life pod 19. Life pod 12 is the one 200. And, is that the one underneath us? I think that's the one underneath us. Life pod 2. CTO use life pod. That one is the one that I need. And she was elsewhere as well. Right, so we got the beacon for the mushroom vent. Uh, there's, there's no more there. No, what I need to find next is we got to find the alien stuff. Uh, data downloads, alien data, terminal, enforcement platform schematic. Uh, no, there was further research required. We want to find, we need to find the other bits. So we we got to find like the, the next bits. But anyway, we'll worry about that. We'll worry about that tomorrow Um, because I, I have really run out of time now. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.